In this figure, we have a quarter circle with the radius of 16 units. Inside the quarter circle, we have a semicircle and a green circle that is tangent to both the semicircle and the quarter circle. In this problem, we will find the area of the green circle, and for this, first we have to find the radius. The green circle and the quarter circle are internally tangent circles, and this is the point of tangency. Here to the right, I have for you an example of internally tangent circles, and as you see, one circle is inside the other one, and they have a point of tangency. Now, the green circle and the semicircle are externally tangent circles, and this is the point of tangency. Here to the right, I have for you an example of externally tangent circles, and this is the point of tangency. Now, tangent circles have an important principle. The line that connects the centers of two circles also passes through the point of tangency. In the example above, we also have a line that connects the centers of the circles, and this line passes through the point of tangency. We will use this principle to find the radius of the green circle. Now, in the figure to the left, let this point be point A, and the center of the green circle will be point B. If in this semicircle we would have the other half to the left, then point A would be the center of this circle. Now, if we connect center A with center B, then this line will pass through the point of tangency, and let this point of tangency be point C. Next, we will call this point of tangency point D, and the center of the quarter circle point O. Now, if we connect the points O and D, then this line will pass through the center of this circle. Next, let the radius of the green circle be x. Now, we know that the radius of the quarter circle is 16 units, therefore AO is 8 units because this is the radius of the semicircle and it is half of the radius of the quarter circle. Then AC is also 8 units because this is also the radius of the semicircle. The distance from O to D is 16 units because this is the radius of the quarter circle. Then, if OD is 16 units and BD is x units, then OB will be 16 minus x. Now, from the center of the green circle, we will draw a perpendicular to AO. Then, this point of intersection will be point E. Then EO will be equal to X because this is the same as the radius of the green circle. And now if AO is 8 units and EO is X units, then AE will be 8 minus X. And now in this figure we have two right triangles formed. One is AEB and the other one is OEB. In the triangle AEB, one side is 8 minus x, and the hypotenuse is 8 plus x. Then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find an expression that will represent the side EB. So we will write that EB squared plus AE squared equals AB squared. So here we have it, EB squared plus AE squared equals AB squared. To solve for EB, first we will subtract AE squared from both sides, then we will take the square root. So EB squared equals AB squared minus AE squared. Then EB equals the square root of AB squared minus AE squared. And now we will replace AB with 8 plus X and AE with 8 minus X. Then we will have EB equals square root of 8 plus X squared minus 8 
minus x squared. Now, to raise these two binomials to the second power, we will use the following formulas. The first one is a plus b to the second power equals a squared plus 2ab and plus b squared, and the second one, a minus b squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. We could also take this expression and write it as 8 plus x times another 8 plus x, and then this one, 8 minus x times another 8 minus x, and just use FOIL. If we follow these formulas, then we will have the following. eb equals the square root of 64 plus 16x plus x squared minus 64 plus 16x and minus x squared. So here, besides raising 8 minus x to the second power, we also needed to distribute the negative. And now, inside the radical, we will have a few things that will cancel. That will be 64 and negative 64 and x squared and negative x squared. Then eb equals square root of 32x. So we got an expression that represents eb, and now let's look at the triangle oeb. In this triangle, one side is x, the hypotenuse is 16 minus x, and again we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find an expression that will represent the side eb. So according to the Pythagorean theorem, in the triangle oeb, eb squared plus oe squared equals ob squared. Then eb will be equal to the square root of ob squared minus oe squared. Next, we will replace ob with 16 minus x and oe with x. Then eb equals the square root of 16 minus x squared minus x squared. Then if we remove the parentheses, eb will be equal to the square root of 256 minus 32x plus x squared and minus x squared then x squared and minus x squared will cancel. Then eb will be equal to the square root of 256 minus 32x. So here we have another expression that also represents eb. And now because both these expressions represent the same side eb, we will make them equal and we will solve for x. We will write that square root of 32x equals square root of 256 minus 32x. Now we will raise both sides to the second power. Then on the left side we will have 32x and on the right side 256 minus 32x. Then if we add 32x to both sides, we will have 64x equals 256. Then if we divide both sides by 64, we will get that x equals 4. So we just found the radius of the green circle. Now the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared and in this case r equals 4, so pi times 4 squared is equal to 16 pi. So we found the area of the green circle and it is 16 pi square units. Now please let me know in the comments below if you have any other methods of solving this problem. I hope you enjoyed the solution and thank you for watching.